Hey, Sean here from SpeedQBView.com. So I get a lot of questions on my old Pachman tutorial method about parity. What is it? Why does it happen? There's still a little confusion on it because I go through it pretty fast in there. Now, it's not exactly a parity because what parity or parity error refers to is an odd number of pieces moving on the cube and you can't have an odd number of swaps on a 3x3. Three three. There always has to be two pairs of pieces moving, whether it's two corners and two edges or maybe two edges and two more edges, but it's always two swaps. And I'm just going to refer to it as the R permutation in this, though, because that's really what it is. It's just doing an R permutation that you will do to fix a couple pieces. So on the same sense that you can only have an even number of swaps, that's why we have to do this. Because when you're solving corners, you're swapping this piece and this piece. You can't just swap two corners though. We're also swapping these two edges. So when I do this, you can see that piece and that piece switched, as well as these two edges. Now, if you do an even number of Y permutations or altered Y permutations, then those pieces are going to be back where they need to be when you're done. But let's say there's an odd number of corners. Well, if there's an odd number of corners that need to be moved, these are going to be out of place which you don't want to have happen when you move to edges because you have memorized where they are normally. The other thing that'll happen though, so these are out of place, we need to fix them. When you're solving edges, whether you're doing a J perm or a T perm, you're not just swapping these two edges or these two edges. These corners go back and forth just like the edges did for corners. So if I do this T permutation, those two edges switched, but so did these two corners. Same thing as before. If you do an even number of edge movements, they'll be right back where they're going to be, and you don't have to do anything. Remember that if you have an even number of corners that need to be moved, you'll always have an even number of edges. And if you have an odd number of corners, you'll always have an odd number of edges. You'll never have odd corners and even edges, or even corners and odd edges. So you don't have to worry about that ever. And if you are doing blind solving and you count an odd number of corners and even number of edges, something went wrong somewhere. So, okay, let's say we're doing a solve and you have an odd number of corners, odd number of edges. So you finish solving the corners and right now these two edges are out of place. So we do the R permutation. Now the R permutation swaps with these two edge pieces and these two corners. So what happens is since these are going to be out of place after doing your corners, or an odd number of corners specifically, this will fix them and move these out of place. You might be wondering why these are going to be out of place. Well, after doing your odd number of edges, either with T or J permutations, these are going to switch back and then forth and then back and then forth and then back and then forth and then back to where they're supposed to be. So the R permutation fixes the edges that are out of place from your Y permutation and prepares for the corners to be out of place during your edge permutations. Now, you can do the edges first, then the R permutation, then corners. It doesn't have to be one, then the other. Really, that's as in-depth as I can really be with it. It's not a parity error. It's just fixing pieces that are out of place after doing an odd number of Y, T, or J permutations. Often people call it a parity error, either because it's just something strange that occurs, that occurs about half the time while doing blind, or they say it because it occurs when you're doing an odd number of corners and edges, which you could say would be an odd parity, but doesn't equate to what you would normally see on a 4x4 parity. So I hope this clears some things up. If you still have questions, leave them in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedqbview.com for more news and reviews.